So we're climbing Scarfell Pike today, which is England's highest mountain. It seems to be really cold outside, so I'm feeling a bit like nervous about the top of it being really cold. So I've layered up. I've got two, I've got leggings on, joggers on, top, jumper. I've got another jumper in my bag. <sighs> it's gonna be good. Boo! Hey! Hey, where are we going? Scarfell Pike. Let's go! All right. Has anyone seen Stranger Things? Why? We'll just pack up the last bits now. Uh, I'm going to put my trainers on and then I think we're just going to head off. I think it's about an hour's drive or something to get to the starting point from where we are now. So yeah, let's do it. Through to the upside down. Okay, bye. Gotten out of the car, we parked in Seathwaite car park. You can start at Seathwaite or you can start in Wesdale Head. So there's two starting points for Scarfell, but we've started at Seathwaite because it was the nearest one to where we we're staying. And I must say, this is literally the most stunning car park I've ever seen in my life. It's literally a field full of mountains, surrounded by mountains. Happy days. How much does it cost to park? Fiver. Box. Oh, it's an honesty box yeah. if you park here, so you just put like honest. a fiver in the box if you're going to be honest. Be honest, guys. Let's do this. So, in case you didn't know, Scarfell Pike is 973 metres above sea level and it is situated in the Lake District National Park and honestly didn't even realise how beautiful this part of England was to be honest I am mind blown wow seriously seriously It's just been more like a rocky kind of path. We're still at the beginning bit. We're just now coming up to this really nice stream and a really pretty bridge. Hey! Mine! <laughs> How Hi. Are you feeling? I'm this super is excited. Really I cannot wait to get to the top. Let's go! This is harder than I thought. Oh, exhausted. Definitely the hardest thing I've done so far. Definitely harder than Snowden. So far, no, right? All the way up either. I'm pretty much still on the first kind of bit. So, it's a, yeah, it takes it out of you, that's for sure. It's very rocky. Oh wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? There's all these different routes. Where did we go? Left, right, and down. Where did we go? Where did we go? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nope. Just a little bit of advice. If you're coming from the Seathwaite car park, when you get to the stretcher box, 
turn left, then it goes around to the right and down. That's right, right? So you come up from Tarn all the way up here to the stretcher box, then you turn left. and then down. So we've just come to this point, we literally have to scramble up this rock. It looks savage. How are we gonna do that? Like pure survival mode. <laughs> We're all hungry, muscles are seizing up. <laughs> it's just straight in and out here, and then the top is literally just there. So we're almost there. We've all done so well. These views are just incredible. I'm so excited. We're Yay, nearly there. Nearly there. Woo! Perfect. Oh, made it! Made 
Hey, 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 hey. Over. So she basically fell in the rent. waterfall. And oh my god, I just <laughs> held onto my phone so tight. <laughs> she okay. cared more about her phone than her own safety. Yeah, of <laughs> so we are soon approaching the end of the trail and I'm trying to think if I can give you some advice. Wear the correct footwear because it is very treacherous. Um, if you have weak ankles, don't do it <laughs> and make sure you have good uh, climbing trainers we I personally really underestimated this mountain and wow it is to be honest personally I think it's longer and harder than Snowdon and Snowdon's higher well um, also make sure you pack loads of food because it does take it out of you um, and loads of water and wrap up well because it does get cold at the top but wear layers so you can add them on and take them off so you can adjust to the weather but other than that you'll have the best time as long as you've got those things you have the best time it is we are absolutely battered <laughs> we're gonna go and get a takeaway Let's see we're gonna get a takeaway, probably some beer, and just really enjoy the last night oh. in our safari tent. <laughs> Your legs are too light. It's made us all gone a bit crazy. <laughs> We're all a bit delusional right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see you in the safari tent. The time has come where we have to check out our safari tent. Boo! I don't want to leave, it's so nice in here. It has been the most incredible stay, <laughs> and now it's time to go. It really has. I don't want to go. I've had the most incredible time here, and it's just been so cosy and so nice to wake up in the forest. <laughs> and even when it rains, it's nice because it just sounds nice in the tent. It feels like you're one with nature. Yes. <laughs> and we, both, we all slept really well because of the hike we did yesterday, so we're well rested. I was out. <laughs> out like a light. But we are just packing up now and getting ready to leave so I think if we have time for a quick coffee then we will do that and make a quick slice of toast and then zip up the tent and hit the road. Jack. Jack. Just tying the rubbish bags. Bye Safari Tent! Bye! What a smashing birthday weekend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we are home from an incredible weekend away in the Lake District. Honestly, it was just so nice to get away and like just be in the fresh air and the mountains and the lakes. Incredible. And also a safari tent, which is super unique and cool. It was like African inspired. Gonna eat a mac and cheese now. And then just unwind, probably unpack tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure with me and us and i would really appreciate it if you could like the video also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos in the future thank you so much honestly for all of your support so far and yeah i shall see you on my next adventure bye <laughs>